your puzzle piece should be nearly complete. In our tree, we should have two extrudes, one that is the original square, and another that makes the two tabs on your puzzle piece. We should also have one extruded cut that creates these openings for each puzzle piece to interlock together. The last feature that we'll need to add is a name across the front of the puzzle piece. In order to create our sketch, we must click the surface that we want to draw on. From your sketch tab, select the center line tool and draw a line that extends from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner. A yellow dot should appear as you scroll your mouse over those corners. Press escape to stop drawing with the line tool. We now want to choose our text tool. Several boxes will appear on the left hand side. Initially, your cursor will be in the text box where we will enter the text that we wish to type. In this box, type your name. You should find that your name appears from the origin of the drawing and not necessarily on the line. In order to move your name to this line, click the Curves box that is blue at the top of the page. Then click the dotted line that we just drew. You should find that your name has now moved to the, to the line, but may need to be repositioned. If it is towards the left or right hand side, you will want to click Center Align from the options in the middle of the Sketch tab. Uncheck the box that says Use Document Font. Then click Font just below. Scroll through the font options and choose Arial. Then enter a size for your font. Typically, something around 8 millimeters will work well, depending on the length of your name. Select OK. If you have a longer name and the text extends outside of the puzzle piece, go back and click Font, then type in a smaller number. With your name appearing on the puzzle piece, click the green check mark. Before you select anything else, right click and select Dissolve Sketch Text. You should find that your text turns into a series of lines, curves, and spline options that can now be cut from our Features tab. Click on Features, then select Extruded Cut. We don't want this cut to go completely through our puzzle piece, so change your depth of cut from 5 millimeters to 3 millimeters. Click OK. When you click your mouse off of the puzzle piece, you should find that all of the lines have disappeared and your finished puzzle piece can be viewed. Click on File and save your finished puzzle piece.